G'day, this is my new um, pulse motor Bedini setup. Got my uh, 12 volt run battery here. Comes through to my new and improved Bedini circuit, which I'll be showing you in a second. Runs through to the double coil system. Got a nice little reed switch here, which can be adjusted. Time the pulses. This runs through into a bridge rectifier, then into a 400 volt cap. Uh, this capacitor is uh, 20 UF, so 20 microfarads. This little nifty thing I knocked up the other day. Um, this is its circuit right here. So we've got a run battery, power transistor, 100 ohm resistor, 1K potentiometer or variable resistor. My little read switch, which is this thing here. It's going into uh, the pulse coil, the power coil. Uh, these coils are double wound or bi filer. You can't really see it there. Um, that's what this second one is, which is just um, picking up the back EMF or the radiant spikes, running into a bridge rectifier, which is that just there, just four diodes. I think they're four double O one. Um, come down into a 90 volt neon and I mean at this point these are my two outputs I can really put anything I want there I can either put a cap or you know my charge battery or whatever I want I'm just going to fire it up as we can see here I've got a little uh, LED light here which I hadn't um, put into the diagram but it would be in line here in series with these resistors here um, just obviously as the magnets pass the reed switch it's just there to time the pulses really it's good to have um, my potentiometer just sort of acts as a speed control obviously just applying more more or less resistance to the circuit so we'll get it fired right up Get it going at top speed. Now I've also noticed with um, with the the rotor here, it likes to um, be actually be quite heavy. I think um, once it gets going, uh, it sort of relies on momentum to to make it go faster. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if anyone's out there, I'd recommend you know having to play around with weighting the your rotor over here and um, stuff like that. Obviously, once you build up momentum, um, you know, you just need a little bit just to, to pulse it along, just to keep pushing it. So, um, yeah. Now, here's my 90-volt um, neon glow. Now, it doesn't light up until, obviously, it gets uh, 90 volts. So, um, I guess this is just proving that, that these radiant spikes do come in very high voltage. Um, yeah. Which I find a bit strange, but... Yeah, I'll get it up. See it lighting up there slightly. Alright, so then now this cannot get lit up without ninety volts. So what we do I just connect the cap up to it and like sort of like as a buffer and it'll grow really glow really nicely. There we go. Alright. I'll just stop it and we'll take some reading. Alright, I've got um my multimeter connected up to my run battery. So you can see it, it's sitting on 11.67 volts at the moment. Got the multimeter hooked up in series now, just so I can test the um, the current draw. 
Let me take a guy. Your name, son. Let's wait for it to speed up a bit. Uh, so we're drawing 0.56 amps. Or 506, 578 milliamps. It's not much, it's a pretty efficient motor. Just discharge this cap. I'm just going to take a reading over it from from start. All right, so we just want to take a reading across this capacitor. All right, get it started up. You see, instantly, we've got sitting on 56 volts. What I'll do is I'll just turn it off for a sec. Um, discharge this cap by shorting it out. <coughs> Back to zero. Turn the resistance down. Now you notice the neon won't turn on until it gets to about 65, 70, 80, 90. There we go. You see it flash and then come back down? 70, 70 volts. Alright, so that at least needs 70 volts to get activated from the cat. Alright, I'll turn, turn it up a bit. So See, it's holding it a lot better now. And this cap just sort of regulates the voltage going into this thing. Makes it glow really nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove this neon glow and we'll see how quickly it shoots up. We're going at max speed at the moment. Let's have a look how quickly it shoots up from 57 volts. You can see the... Uh, put it on the 500 volt setting. Just going to pull it out. You see that shoot up to around 300 volts. There we have it, 300 volts coming from 12 volts DC. If anyone can explain why this is happening, it would be much appreciated. Um, obviously, if I was just to hook that battery right up to that capacitor, the most it can charge it to is 12 volts. So, so I'm just going to take it off and I'm just going to show you the radiant discharge out of the capacitor. What, what Padini calls the radiance of charge. Let's do this by shorting it out. And I just always get a bit of a fright when I do this. But, and you wouldn't want to get your fingers caught between these two things. That thing's got bloody 300 volts in it right now. Right, here we go. As you can see, a lot of energy in there.
Yo, it's a chronic intoxication. The rhythms of the vibe got your heart beat racing. Yo, it's a chronic intoxication. Free yourself of limits, never stop to place it. Yo, it's a chronic intoxication. The music of the vibe got your heart beat racing. Said it, it's a chronic intoxication. Free yourself of limits, so you'll never stop. This reminds me of old times. The mind is a terrible thing. I never thought that I'd rise to be a lyrical king. But yo, to everyone's surprise, I'm alive and kicking. Got a voyeuristic mind. I gotta watch when I'm thinking my reflections are eternal Quali told me once in a song It might as well have been the gift from the gold There's certain lessons that I'm taking to the grave Yo, enough of it all, give me the ball Let me take it to the pain